Hi, so today we are going to look at hypersensitivity reaction. We are going to look at type 1, 2, type 4. So the first one we are going to look at is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. This is mediated by immunoglobulin E and the response is immediate. The response is quick after the onset of the exposure and so it causes allergic reaction and also anaphylactic shock. Now the mechanism of action is uh, immunoglobulin E antibodies binding to mast cells and there is going to be a cross-linking between the immunoglobulin E and the antigen and this will lead or induce the degranulation of the mast cell leading to the release of histamine. Now we find this when you have bee sting using some latex, some, sometimes wearing gloves, new gloves, some soups, certain medications such as penicillin and also the seasonal hay fever. Also we have it in food or drug allergies. So these are the types or examples of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is known as cytotoxic and it is mediated by immunoglobulin J or immunoglobulin M. And this occurs hours to days. Now the mechanism of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is that the immunoglobulin J or immunoglobulin M antibodies bind to the cellular antigen which leads to complement activation and the breakdown of the cell. Now, once we have the breakdown of the cell, we are going to have the um, cytotoxic T cells as well as uh, the natural uh, killer cells and macrophages, including neutrophils, coming in to you know uh, um, uh, cause more uh, reaction. And we find type two hypersensitivity reactions in instances of hemolytic disease of the newborn, also uh, following blood transfusion of um, red blood cells, which are uh, you know uh, not compatible with the host uh, cell uh, blood, and also in some acute uh, graft rejection. These may be caused by type two hypersensitivity reaction. In type three hypersensitivity reaction, it is, we call it immune complex because it is mediated by immunoglobulin J and immunoglobulin M. And it occurs within one to three weeks. And so we say this occurs following immune complex deposition. The mechanism of action is that the antigen antibody complexes are deposited inside the tissues. And so complement activation uh, is initiated and this provides the inflammatory mediators and recruit neutrophils. Now when the neutrophils comes, the enzymes which are released from the neutrophils are the ones which damage the cells and tissues. And examples of type three hypersensitivity reaction is what we find in post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, also in systemic lupus erythematosus, in serum sickness, and also in rheumatoid arthritis. Finally, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is referred to as delayed hypersensitivity reaction, and it is mediated by the T helper cells. It may occur days to weeks. Now, the uh, mechanism of action is that the T helper cells secrete cytokines which activate macrophages and the cytotoxic T cells. And we may find this uh, in um, contact dermatitis, type 1 diabetes mellitus, in nickel as well as uh, poison ivy and also in multiple sclerosis and in chronic graft re rejection. So these are the instances where we may find hypersensitivity reactions. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.